I'm Tanner Pletcher, and I play bass guitar for Labor 12. So I had some friends um, whenever I was eight, nine, nine years old or something like that. They were just dead set on, on starting a band. None of us had any instruments or anything like that, so I begged and begged my, my dad for a bass guitar, and uh, that was my Christmas gift that year. Once we got our instruments and everything, um, quickly realized that none of us actually knew how to play them. So, <laughs> you know, but that's where it started for sure. <laughs> I started out playing bass. Um, uh, that was kind of my instrument at heart. And uh, didn't really have a whole lot of friends that played guitar, so I thought, you know, I need to pick up guitar. <laughs> so I started playing guitar, and um, every band that I played prior to Labor 12, I was actually a guitar player. Uh, my first one, uh, when I was 13, 14, 15 years old, was a band called Ottawa, and uh, single player, guitar player, uh, and we did that for a couple of years. After Ottawa, I started a band here, out of here in Lubbock uh, called Kenman Drive. Um, that was my first touring band. We only toured Texas, uh, but really got my feet wet doing that with that band. Um, kind of a harder metal, very inspired by Pantera kind of thing. We played with them for about two years, uh, just you know, going through and throughout Texas and trying to make a name for ourselves. Uh, and then we opened up here in Lubbock uh, for a band called Mud Spider. They uh, got me and a buddy of mine off to the side after one of our shows and was like, hey, we're actually a touring act too and uh, we can pay you. <laughs> So we quickly said, bye Ketamon Drive, we're, we're gonna go collect a paycheck. <laughs> so I toured with Mud Spider throughout Texas and the uh, lower part of the states for about three to four years as a guitar player. And uh, it was very, very, very fun, very, very draining. Um, in the late 2010s, Texas put out a mandate that you can't smoke in bars anymore. Yeah, it, rock and roll really, really took a hard hit at that time. So it was harder for us to keep touring and uh, uh, playing with some of these bigger acts, some of the bigger national acts and things like that, just because there's, you know, the market of it just kind of fell out from underneath it for the bar scene. It really took a toll on me. Um, so I decided to give it up. I wanted to start a family. I want to I want to get a, get a regular job and <laughs> be a regular human again. I was just very much not going to do it again. Started going to church with uh, Ross, our lead singer, and uh, playing with him and the, and the church band and everything. I was still playing guitar, and then uh, he reached out to me, you know, randomly one day, and then uh, sent me over the music and asked me if I'd try out for the band. And I was like, God, man, I really don't want to do this. I don't know. I'm just not interested in getting back in the scene, you know. And my wife, Monica, she she looked at me and was like, just listen to the music and tell me what you think. We are having like a little family get together, so I step out in the front yard, put my headphones in, listen to the demo tracks that they sent me, and I was like, here we go again. All right, well, I guess I'm coming out of retirement. <laughs> and I'm really glad that I did, you know. I was used to playing guitar, and I was used to being, um, you know, that figure in the band, and going back into bass, it really, it really opened up my origin story. You know, it's, that's where, where my musical adventure started was with bass and being back on it. It's really helped out my techniques and my guitar playing ability just in general, you know, because I was so excited to be playing with some guys that are of this quality and the music's really cool. If it really hits me in the heart, like really at home, um, so ever since I've been playing with them, I've been developing a technique and developing a sound and, and uh, my guitar playing ability, you know, especially on bass, has really taken off ever since I've been playing with, with these guys. Biggest influences for sure, uh, Justin Chancellor from Tool, uh, yeah, Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin and Jimi Hendrix. Um, yeah, those, those guys really, really inspire me to keep my tone. You know, I mean, technique-wise, Jimi Hendrix and Jimmy Page, for sure, um, the way that they write songs, the way that they present themselves on stage and everything like that. Uh, my tone and my technique that I use to go in between, you know, fingering the bass, slapping the bass, or deciding to use a pick, that's really heavily influenced through Justin Chancellor and Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, Tool, uh, Pantera, and Led Zeppelin. I mean, those are those are big ones that are always on my playlist, no matter no matter what it is I'm doing, for sure. For me, 
I love playing music and I love playing good music that other people can feel and that they can react to. You know, one of the things that I really I really like about this band is that we're all on the same page. You know, we're we're here to do this for fun. Once we're working and we're no longer a bunch of guys having fun and and jamming out and and, and, and stuff like that, you know, I think we all we all don't really want to go down that path. I really want the people that perceive our music to feel it the way that I do. I use music as almost like an anxiety reliever and it's a healthy way for me to get my emotions out. And, and, and our music and music in general has that type of impact on me. Um, so I want to be able to give that back to our listeners. I really want our music to be a stepping stone in somebody's life to make their lives better, happier, and more productive for them. It's really nice to be able to know that uh, what we're giving into the music that people are taking, and that they don't take just bits and piece of, pieces of it, like oh, this song, and you know, or or in this moment, I really felt like this. But I mean, they really take it in as a whole. I really like being a part of that. I really like knowing that the music that we're producing is helping the people that have that have heard it and the people that are coming to our shows. This album, especially, you know, the monsters, the monster within monsters. It's a lot about battling your your inner demons, and everybody has demons that are different all the way across the board from it, from anybody else and knowing that we're doing something about it and that we're voicing our words and we're trying to help people that are going through this that or the other um, it feels good you know those songs those songs each song has a different meaning to each one of the band members and each one of the songs has a different type of impact on each person uh, one of the songs that we have written that we actually haven't played live yet is called head rush it's about a lot of the experiences that I've had personally, uh, struggling with alcohol abuse and substance abuse. And um, during the during the beginning parts of the bands, I really struggled with alcohol abuse quite quite a bit. And uh, um, I reached out to Ross and I told him that you know, you know, this is one of the demons that I'm struggling with, whether we all see it or not. And he wrote that song. And now every time that I think or I'm having a bad day or anything like that, I mean, I can go and experience that song that is is specifically about something that I've gone through that I know lots and lots of other people go through the same thing. Once we get it laid down and put on the album, I think it'll uh, I think it'll reach a lot of people. I mean, this band, it's very, very special individuals that, that are playing together here. And um, I appreciate each and every one of them for everything that we do, everything that we go through together. Um, being being a part of this band is very much like a family, you know, I mean, I can call these guys for anything and everything. Each and every band member that's a part of this is a part of my family and my extended family. So yeah, I mean, uh, like Randy and I, I mean, man, whenever we're playing live together, we set the pocket for the band. It's an unbelievable experience. I mean, Randy and I, especially being on stage, we never say hardly one word to each other the entire time, but we are connected very, very closely inside of that pocket that we're creating for Labor 12. Jacob, as a lead guitar player, is phenomenal. I mean, this is one of the, this is one of the few bands that I've ever been a part of where it's the moment that I walk on stage with these guys, I am 110% comfortable and confident of what we are about to give. Um, one thing that I've noticed about Labor 12 is every time that we play, whether we're in practice or whether we're playing a show, it's just brothers all getting together, hanging out, playing music, and it's incredibly comfortable. <laughs>